Hey y'all, I'm back again. Um, when I was talking about the other people that I met, it was on a website for tar people, and a lot of the women on there, they have trouble doing their hair. I know sometimes I have trouble doing my hair, and the reason is because they can't we can't reach the back of our head that good so a lot of them keep their hair short so here's a hair tutorial for women that have tar if you don't want to keep your hair short here are some ways that you can put your hair up and they're cute hairstyles and I love them and I'm going to show you but as you can see, my hair is long. I like long hair. Short hair, I really can't do. So, I don't care if I got short arms, long arms, whatever. I'm going to wear my long hair. So, here's a hair tutorial for Tar Syndrome that wants some cute hairstyles. <laughs> okay. Here's one, a hairstyle that it consists of a, I guess it's like a bump shaper or something. You can put it in your head. I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay. First, I make sure my hair is flat. I'm sorry, my computer is like messing up. Okay, I make sure my hair is flat first. Then I take the comb, put it in the center of my head, and I comb my hair out to the back. Sometimes I wish I could put my hair in a ponytail. I've tried, but obviously I can't. So I'm going to keep trying until I do. But here's an alternative way that I can put my hair up and it makes it grow. And it still looks cute at the same time. Okay. So I have combed my hair back. And I'm going to take the part that I combed back. Make sure you have a lot of hair combed back. Okay. I'm going to take the part that I've combed back. I'm going to lift it up like this. And I put the bump in like this. And I put the hair back that I combed back. And I combed the hair down over it. And to finish it off, I put a bow on it. It can be a hair clip, a bow, hair pins. I always use a bow because hair pins don't really do that good in my hair. So, I'm going to finish it off with the book. Well, that's not exactly straight. You got to make sure the hair is straight over the little bump. And sometimes you have to grab it to make sure it's straight. And then put the bow on it like so. It's not exactly straight, but I'm going to get straight. Uh oh, my earrings.
sometimes this takes me at least 10 minutes to the max because I'll be trying to get it straight so much and the rest of your hair you can kind of like swoop it behind your ear you know or get out your face any thing you want to do like that And to make sure it's right or it's cute or the way that you want it, you can look at the back of your head in the mirror with a hand mirror like this. You take the hand mirror and you turn your back to the mirror and you make sure it's straight or however you want it. Okay? So, as you can see, that's one way you can put your hair up. I don't know about you, but I think it's kind of cute. I wear my hair like this to work sometimes. So, I think it's cute. Another way, if you don't want to put this in your head, You can comb out your hair. I just need to take my hair and You can comb out your hair. Make sure it's all combed out. Kind of part it through the middle, or however you want to part it. Okay. And another way you can do, you can take a clip, and I'm going to show you how you put your hair up in a clip. Take your hair like this, swoop your finger through your hair, and Gonna roll it up if so. Um, let me get it straight. My hair is not doing right right now. <laughs> you gotta make sure your hair is straight. So you're going to swoop behind and make sure you have all your hair up as so. And for us girls, this really helps our arm muscles because we're holding our arm fixing our hair for a long time. So this builds up your, your upper strength. And you put a clip on it, like so, and your hair is up. See? And comb the back of your hair out.
and the rest of it come soup behind behind your head something like that and you have a updo hairdo and like I said you can always make sure it's straight by having a hand mirror present and turn your back to the mirror and you can make sure it's straight in the in the back like mine is see how it's straight look like I done farted in the back and I do so I hope someone has learned something today I would not be doing this if I wasn't out there trying to help people because I know how it is growing up um your mom single mom taking care of you you gotta wing everything because there's not many people out there with tar syndrome and you feel like you're the only one so you kind of have to do things a certain way I hope I'm helping somebody I love y'all and thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.